What is up, y'all? You have found 1332 Knitwear Design House. I am Anna. I am the boss lady, CEO, sole designer, and all-around knitting machine. Let me adjust here a little bit. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2024, and this is a talk with Anna. This is our podcast. We do this every week on Thursdays. Yes, we do. There is a normal progression to these. We go news and acquisitions, uh, works in progress, and then finished objects. I don't have any finished objects. Um, I do, well, I do have one that I will show you guys in just a minute. It's a big one, though. <laughs> it's big. Um... So, let's kick this puppy off. Let's let's unpack this. News and acquisitions. News. I got a lot of stuff going. I started working out what is going to be in the 2025 season what pieces I'm going to be working on over the summer so you guys and over the summer and winter so you guys see them in January um all I can tell you is that there is a lot of cabling I will be doing over the winter over the summer and the winter there is a lot of cabling um some things aren't cabled some things are some things are uh you guys are just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> just wait and see. Um, I did get some progress pictures posted in the Ko-Fi shop in the commission side. So if you want to see that stuff pop over there, it's right there when you bring commission stuff up. It's like with the read, I posted the picture of the progress on the back of it. Um, I've done the same thing with the cast with the uh, Casey, and I've done the same thing with the Eileen, so you guys have kind of ideas of what I'm working on, and with the carry, the carry just looks like a pile of parts in my chair right now, so, <laughs> pardon the dust, but, I'm working on it, um, so you, that's, I'm working on that. I'm working on getting the kids to understand that at bedtime we need to be quiet. You, because but their bedtime is 9.30. And they have no idea how to shut their mouths. Uh, Diva, Diva, once he gets into bed, he's done. Mm -mm. Leave him alone. Let him sleep. Big has a hard time getting to sleep. Because things have to be just perfect. And sister is a night owl too. And she does not want to go to sleep. She wants to sit up and read. Or play with her toys. Or whatever. I'm like I don't care. Just as long as you do it quiet and do it in your bed. Big on the other hand. Will be up running around. He does the. The emergency alert thing. And if you're from the stage. You know how annoying that is. That wah, 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 thing. He does that constantly. And <clears throat> I've tried and tried and tried to get him to stop doing it at night. I'm like, dude, just don't do it at night while people are laying down to sleep. That's bad. Do it during the day. Because you wouldn't like it if people were annoying you like that. I'm like, you don't like it when sister sings in her bed. So don't go sitting there making noises. Mm-mm. And her bed is on the other side of the house from his. And he still freaks out. So it's like, buddy, stop doing that. That's not very nice. Um, so we're working on that. So I can start getting the 11 o'clock lives over on Twitch going. That way I have the Stitch and Breeze in the morning. And then at 11 o'clock at night, I will have the... Uh, decompression and you can flip those if you're on the other side of the planet you can like 
catch the live stream on Twitch and use it as the same <coughs> as I do with the Stitch and Breathe. It's just decompress and de-stress and just let it all go. And you can use it for the same thing on the other side of the planet. Um, to, like the Stitch and Breathe in the morning, you can use those to decompress and get ready for bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I wanted them one on one channel and one on another channel, so everybody can use them. Um, because I am a firm believer that everybody could do with a good night's sleep and five minutes to decompress. The, there are so many wars that would not be fought if everybody got a good night's sleep and it took five minutes to calm down and not get so goddamn bent out of shape. That's me, though. <coughs> um, acquisitions. I did get some new needles, but they're currently on Big's Blanket. I got a new set of size 9s and the adapters. Um, I have a pair here that I can show you real quick that is on the, the carry sleeve. What I got was, oh, come on, you. was that little bit there and this here because these cables are small cables so I got the adapter part here and the needle itself so I got a set of those because this was the only set of size 9 cable needles that I had and working on Afghans is a whole lot easier if you have a cable and the proper needles. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Ow. That was my ears itchy. Sorry. Um. Yikes. Um. Let's see what else. Oh, I've got yarn coming for Big's Blanket. Premier has a bag sale going on right now. It's, uh, three balls in a bag. Yeah, so I bought two bags of the, uh, sweet roll in the blueberry swirl. Because that's what Big's Blanket is. It's in the blueberry swirl, so. I haven't got much progress on it. I need to get to work on Sis's blanket because Sis's blanket, last count, only measured like 10 and a half inches. And it's got to be at 20. So I mom's, mom has got to haul butt this weekend and get through <coughs> this yellow stripe and then do her sweet roll stripe and then get on to next one. Yeah, I got to get through this one and do two more stripes this weekend and there's 40 rows per stripe so that's going to literally take me the rest of the day tomorrow all day saturday and all day sunday you know what i'm doing this weekend i'm playing catch up um so acquisitions that's what i got I acquired a new set of needles and some more yarn. <sighs> Works in progress. You guys see everything anyway. I mean, really, you see everything I'm working on every day during Stitch and Breathe. And if you catch us on Twitch, you see it there too. Um, I have posted, like I said, I put progress pictures in the commission shop. So you guys can see how far I am with that. I think that's all you guys have, that have been working on. I did get the fronts, both sides of the front of the KC cast on. I'm not quite to where I need to be to go to the bigger needles yet. So, I'm still working on the ribbing on the bottom. <coughs> Works in progress. They're moving right along, but progress is slow. Um, let's see what else do I have for you guys. Finished objects, I'm going to show you this one. 
I'm only going to show you the top because it's a pain in the ass to pick it up. I got my stool all done. See? It's not pretty on the bottom. But it does what I want it to do. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. It is very comfy, and it is the perfect height to get my foot up and keep my feet out of the way. <coughs> to relieve the pressure on that foot and ankle. Because if I sit in my desk chair too long, I'll notice that my right leg will start to swell up and it's it's not pretty it's not pretty at all but I got my new footstool done so that's like the only finished object I have at the moment <laughs> I'm hoping next week I'll have a bunch of stuff to show you guys I'll be able to show you the, the carry and I'll be able to show you a couple of pea trees and be like see I am doing stuff it's just slow going and maybe the Eileen, too. I might get that one done. Oh. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's here in my box of fun stuff. This is our Eileen. So, I'm not very far into it. But it is very pretty. Yep. That's our Eileen Shaw. Nice open work Shaw. I am doing that one because I'm work. This was a. <laughs> I started this weekend by like, uh oh. I looked up and I seen it and I'm like, I need to write that down. So, I started working on it, and then it hits me that I'm not writing it down. And as I'm writing it down, I'm realizing that it's not working. So, mm, what do we got to do? So, I start working on it, and I get moving on it, and I'm like, okay. And I, I made it that far, and then I was like, I am still not writing this down, but I'm remembering how to do it now. Because it's kind of the same way I did one for my grandmother months and months ago but it's kind of the same way but I think I had one extra stitch on one side or the other of my grandmother's but yeah so that's the island I'm telling you I am swamped in projects and as long as I get like two or three rows done at a time I am peachy keen with that I am working on a, today is a stock knitting day, so I am working on a pea tree. I am in the middle of a pearl row. Yes, yes, yes. And then Diva's got a uh, doctor's appointment this afternoon, so I'm going to switch from the Emerald Energy, the Emerald City one that's on a cone down here on my butler. I'm going to put it on a straight to keep here, and then I'm going to take the cadet Petrie with me to the doctor's office. So I have something to work on there, which is cool because our family doctor is, he's an awesome dude. He really is. He really, really is. He delivered a uh, diva, so he delivered diva and sis. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, what else have I got going on? Sorry about the podcast this last week. I had crazy kids. They were driving me nuts. You know how babies are. It's a strange day when they're not driving their mother nuts. I am almost done with the carry sleeve and then all I gotta do is put like sew it together and 
then I've got to do the banding around the sides of it around the neck and that stuff and I've got to make two belt straps and a belt and put it all together so to start with I'm going to do the shoulder seams and then do the little belt loop thingies I think Eight inches is a good amount to go down from the where the armpit is to where I need to put the belt loops. So I'm thinking that's how I'm going to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go ahead and sew up the sides and then sew on the belt loops. So they lay a little bit flatter. So they lay better. Because my mother has a prototype that I did <laughs> way back in the day that the belt loops are this way, but they're a little offset. So they go like this. Well, they're just flopping out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's not cool. It's not good. No, 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 that's not good. And that was made like two years after I started learning how to knit and that was my one of my first big projects and it looks terrible <laughs> but she likes it so uh, okay so yeah ah uh, la 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 we're switching from people names in apparel in the commission shop to place names to big city names yeah so Instead of, like, the, the Shaws will stay with, with lady names, but, like, and the Afghans will stay with people names. But, things like sweaters and things like that, that I'm trying to do, uh, unisex or not geared toward females, um... Those are start going are going to start having uh, just city names. So next time you guys see like the Carlos pattern, it'll still be the Carlos. It'll just be a different name. The next time you guys see me do one of those, it'll be like the Rio or something like that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've tried to stay pretty gender neutral with the names when I can. But. The names that just came to mind when I would start doing it. I'm like, mm, mm, mm I don't like that name anymore. Let's change this name to this. So there's a lot of that going on. Um. Let's see. What else have I got going on? think that is just about it yeah yep <clears throat> I am slowly working on a white and a robin uh, uh the robin's egg color of uh pea trees in the corrected pattern so when they shrink they will shrink to the proper size um, I am working on getting the Sarah stocked up and ready to go in the dish, in the dish towels and, uh, dish cloths. It's currently being a pain in my butt. Give me a second and I'll go get you one that I finished. Sorry about that. This is what the Sarah looks like. It's got this, uh, waffle weave boxes. This is the dishcloth. This hasn't been washed yet, so I don't know how it's going to shrink up. Um, but I'm hoping it shrinks to size that it's supposed to be. Because it is a little bit bigger than it actually needs to be. 
So I'm hoping that when I wash it up and take a good look at it, that it's shrank back to its proper proportions. Whew. And then the dish towel will have these little squares of the waffle weave repeated along the bottom. And then it will just be a stockinette from there up. Yep. And the dish mat will have them all over the place. The dish mat will have them out and around the edge. And then after that, it's just stockinette. Um, the chomper is just a waffle weave. It's waffle weave all over the place. Yep. So there's that. And I tried expanding it to where this is a 2x2. Two two. I tried doing a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four and it looks like crap. <laughs> it looks horrible. It's just like boxes. And it's like, mm, that's not what that's supposed to do. So yeah, I'm working on that right now. <laughs> um, trying to get that figured out and get that squared away where I want it. But as I stock up the Sarah, you're going to see it in the, in the regular shop. It's going to come up. You're going to see a big uh, new product thing when I get that washed and make sure that it's right and then be like, whoa, it's right. Yay, it's right. Um, let's see, what else am I doing? So I got that finished. I've got all three blankets in the works, all four blankets in the works. Um, the carry's almost done. Casey's moving right along at a nice little clip. The reed is moving right along. Everything is moving right along. Everything's moving right along. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you recognize that song. Moving right along. <laughs> yeah um so as long as I keep knitting on everything I'll be fine yep just keep knitting just keep knitting give me a thumbs up if you recognize that one too <laughs> and this is in the cadet color I had uh part of a ball that sat in a window and got a little discolored so you can tell the difference between this one and this one in my house. I know you can't tell it on screen, but I'm looking at it and I can tell the difference. So it's like, mm, mm -mm. no, no, no. <laughs> We're going to use you to prove this. <coughs> so I can make sure that it works. <laughs> um, I finally got the printer fixed. So that's a yay raw. I can start amassing my uh, transfer paper and ribbon and cardstock and all that stuff that I need to do, that I need to get to do everything else. All my business cards and uh, I gotta get sticker paper so I can do all my stickers and everything. So yeah, moving right along. Um. <laughs> Yeah, things are just moving right along. Uh, da 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 da. What else? What else? What else? You know how it goes. The minute I turn this off, I'll think of five thousand things I wanted to say. That's how it always goes. Always. Always. I know I came to you from the table last week instead of my easy chair. That's because the hooligans were home and they wouldn't leave me alone. I like this setup a whole lot better. But. Babies. What can you do? So yeah. Anyways y'all. I think that's just about 24. Yeah. Long enough. So, yeah, like I said, I am moving right along. 
at the best clip I can at the moment. Everything has its scheduled day and everything has its scheduled time. And if you look at my book, this is crazy. I'm going to show you my scheduler for today, for this week. That is what it looks like. And that's not even right. Because I put my live, my nightly live on there, and the kids have not cooperated at all for me to do that. So, yeah. So that's fun. Uh, la la la, what else, what else, what else? Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba -wa. What else have I done? Oh, I'm in the process of getting all my seeds together. My dad and I are going to the Bad W store tomorrow to go get me some seeds. And he said he's probably going to pick me up some dirt so I can get my seeds going. Um, I picked up a set of four flats and greenhouse thingies for my seeds from Aldi. I love Aldi. Aldi's awesome. Um, so I can get my seeds started down in the basement. Uh, I had this one grapevine that had to overwinter in the basement and I wasn't sure it was going to make it because for the longest time it was just a stick. Well, I went down there the other day and it's full of leaves. Because I was down there watering and everything, and I'm like, mm, I should check that. And it was just absolutely full of leaf buds, and I've been watering it probably more than I should. <laughs> but it's just taken over, and it's like, I love this. So it's like, you go, sister. Uh, I lost one of my strawberries. I did. So I gotta buy a strawberry to replace that. And I think I lost a blackberry bush and a blueberry bush over the winter. But. And I'm not sure about my apple tree. I'm not sure about it. But my, peach, my pear trees out here. They loved this winter. Are freaking like 35 below cold snap. Nope. Didn't affect them at all. I got a pe uh, two peach trees out in the backyard. and two a I had two apple trees. One of them died as soon as it got planted. But one of them was fighting aphids. And it's got tiny little leaf buds all over it, but it hasn't leafed out yet. So it's like, mm, you're running out of time. Are you going to, what are you going to do? And my peach trees are just like, dude, dude, we loved that. Because they're green. They're everywhere green. And I'm going... Neato Cheeto. <coughs> so, yeah. And the funny part is, is the blueberry and the blackberry bushes both said fall sun. Well, this side of my porch is part shade. It gets fall sun in the morning, but it doesn't get it in the afternoon. And then once it goes past the house, the sun does, then they get fall sun again. The ones on that side are the ones that crapped out on me. So, yeah. Guess what I'm doing? I'm replacing plants that died over the winter. Sucktastic. Yippee. Um, so, yeah. When I start getting stuff and getting it put in and getting it put up, I will show you guys all my lovely plants. But right now, I don't have any. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, my blueberry bush, out here, the one out here, is just covered in green, and so is my blackberry bush. My blackberry bush out here is just like going like gangbusters. But, but, anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here so I can get me some lunch and hopefully hit my mark. With the pea tree that I'm working on. Because I got to get to 11 inches. And I'm at like 5. So I got to haul butt before 2.30. Hmm. Or 
Nope. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. I gotta haul butt before three o'clock. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, you guys know the drill. If you're new here and you like what you see, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell icon and hit all. And you'll be notified every time I post here on YouTube, which is Monday through Thursday. We do the Stitch and Breathe in the morning, and then Thursday, at some point, there will be a podcast. Um, if you're a returning viewer, how you doing? How you been? How's the weather there? Because here it's been butt ass cold the last few days. Mmm. It's been seriously cold. If you caught the Stitch and Breathe this morning, you noticed that my hair has dried some. It is a whole lot more manageable this way, letting it dry this way, than letting it dry, than drying it with a hair dryer because that puts way too much volume into my hair and it makes me look like I have a puffball. Mm -mm. Nope, let it dry on its own. It works better that way. Or brush it dry, but do not blow dry it because it will puff up. Yes, yes it will. And I have fought the puffies all my life. Seriously. Um. See what else have we got going on. Okay. That's where we are. <laughs> anyway. Moving on. If you want to help support the channel. You can do that one of three ways. One. You can buy us a coffee over on Ko-Fi. Two. You can join one of the membership tiers over on Ko-Fi. There's three of those. We got the black coffee. Sorry about that. We got the black coffee for five, the coffee and croissant for eight, and the full English for ten. Um, if you want to purchase, make a purchase, you can do that too. Over on Ko-Fi, we got the shop, we got the commission shop, and if you want brand merch, it's over at Cafe Press. Everything will be down in the description box below. Um, that's where all the links are, because I always include all my links. Um, uh, da, 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 what else? Oh, yeah. If you want to give us a follow, you can do that right here on YouTube. You can do that on Tumblr. You can do that on Insta. You can follow us over on Twitch, where we go live every Tuesday at noon central time. And... We are working on, well, I am working on getting the kids to settle down a little bit earlier in the night so I can do the 11 o'clock at night lives. So 11 p.m. Central Time. <coughs> so I'm trying to get that going. Or, if you want to, you can follow us over on Ko-Fi because if you follow us over on Ko-Fi, you will get 24 hours First dibs on anything I post in the standard shop. Which means, if you follow us over there, if you follow the shop over there, then, uh, say I post a new, say I get the Aurora hat finally proofed. And finally fixed to where it works for every size. You would get the first 24 hours that it's up in the shop before I say anything about it on any of the other sites. So, you would get first dibs. Yes, yes, yes. So, hug your baby super tight because there's parents who can't hug their babies and babies who can't hug their parents. Tell your weird friends and relatives that you love them be, no matter they, whether they have four legs or fins, feathers or fur because they could be gone in a heartbeat. La, 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 la. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. There's no statute of limitations for that kind of malarkey, so don't do it. Don't bite your tongue. Nobody needs that. It'll just hurt your tongue and give you an ulcer. Yes. Say what's on your mind. As long as it's not offensive. If it's offensive, please use discretion. You can think it, but not say it. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So yeah, this has been a talk with Anna today. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Fist bump.
You're amazing. I love you. Huge hugs. Much love. Happy knitting, folks. Bye-bye.